Hey guys, this is Sheila from What's Up Y'all. And for those the first time viewers, I live here in the hills of Virginia with my husband that I call Mr. <clears throat> anyway, today, my voice is a little bit hoarse. I don't know why. Anyway, today, um, I put up a video about my decluttering my pots and pans. For some reason, I thought that it had uh, put up the whole video, but it didn't. It left the tail end off. You know, where I tell y'all that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. And that you're blessed in the city and the field when you come and when you go. Y'all know. But um, I looked at it on the TV today. Normally, I don't go back and watch my videos. I just video, I edit, and then I put it up. Everything when I edit it was there. Why it did not post, I don't know. The tail end of it. But as I was going through that and pulling up <clears throat> the video, I said, you know, I've got several clips here that um, I haven't even shown you. I don't think that I have, because normally I put them in a separate folder, you know, whatever the, the, the name of the, um, the video is going to be, I make the folder for that and then put the clips in that folder until a, a later time, then I'll delete them. But um, I noticed there was a couple that I hadn't shared with you. At least I don't think that I have. And so I'm going to, I guess this video is called The Missing Clips. So the first one is going to, I'm going to show you, well, I probably won't even do that clip. But I'll just show you the clutter in the pots and pans. you got to go back and watch that video. But <clears throat> what I had done, remember, I, if you watched it, that there were some um, plastic wear and stuff that um, I needed to put into the storage pantry. So I'm going to show you that today and um, let me turn on the light here in the kitchen. But here, I mean it still doesn't look up there. It doesn't look uniform. That's the best I can do. Um, I was just really having a hard time deciding because I have an egg tray uh, right here, the, the gold. I have a cake, you know, if I make a cake to take somewhere. I have a cupcake, which is the red and clear cupcake thing. I have a relish dish if we go somewhere. Then I have just a big gum uh, tubware thing, I don't know. Uh, so I thought, well, that's handy. Then I put my two roasting pans there, and then my Temptations way back there. So I don't want to get rid of my Temptations as of yet. Um, I'm tired, but I do have to take them down and I'll probably put them on uh, on marketplace First I'm gonna sit down and rest my bones just a little bit and I wanted, uh, Remember I hadn't made any tea yet. Y'all know I am about how I am about tea So mr. Bought me which I've almost consumed it um, this tea here um, Anyway, it's kind of like uh, lower sugar he gravitates to that. I don't. I can't get it focused in. But anyway, he gravitates to that. I'm just a sugar person. You know, with those chocolate kisses, I've been sucking down, eating down. And uh, I probably saw my face look so blowed up because all that chocolate. I bet I've gone through two bags of um, chocolate kisses. It's not good for me, I know. And it's way before Valentine's. But I, I was reading up on it, I was going, why am I craving? I mean, I couldn't get the wrapper off the next one fast enough to stick it in my mouth while one was already, you know, kind of already in there. And I'm going, why am I craving this chocolate? Well, I looked it up. I didn't look thoroughly. I really didn't. But I kind of looked it up. And it says that, like, if you're low in magnesium, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about it. But I told Mr. I said, well, I guess I'm just low in magnesium. He said, well, we need to go GNC or somewhere and get you some magnesium then. I just don't want to put on any more pounds, and it's my fault. I really need to lose weight. I mean, I'm way overweight. My britches now that I put on when I walk is getting those little bally things between your thighs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you got to get a little razor or something to kind of you know, get them off. Everybody knows what that's about. But the thing of it is, I just tell you. Ain't no shame in my game. Shame I'm low, I, I gain weight. But I'm just telling you like it is. Okay, so anyway, Mr. has gone. Uh, he had to exchange a couple of uh, 
thermal shirts for me. He got a size too small. I do that too. I look at a pair of britches, you know, how you open them up. And I'm going, God, that's huge. Well, I better go try them on anyway. By the time I get in there, I can about get only one thigh in there. Well, he got me a couple of thermal shirts. And uh, he says, well, they look big enough for you to put on. I said, I they were a medium. And I said, mister, I can't fit in that. Oh, sure you can. I said, I'm telling you. So I went and tried them on. I couldn't hardly even get them around my shoulders right there. So he went to exchange those for me. And I forgot to tell him I wanted some bright colors. Everything I see my guy is black or this. this. I, mean, I need like some red, something to pop. But um, I look washed out. But you know what? He thought about me to get it. And so I just don't need to be complaining about it. I mean, I appreciate him thinking about me because I stay cold all the time. Anyway, he went to do that. He says he's going to stop for a biscuit. I got to be up a couple of hours so. But now by the time I got finished with all this, I done worked up an appetite. Now we're talking about me gaining weight. But I'm hungry. So I'm going to go in there and see what I can find me to eat. I don't know. I wish I had some bananas. I could fix me a banana and either peanut butter or banana and mayonnaise and peanut butter or just a banana and mayonnaise with a little bit of sugar. So here I am with all that sugar again. I'm telling on myself, but I'm hungry. I don't have no bananas. So I guess I'll go in there and look for some soup. Don't that sound appetizing? There was a couple of clips. There's one from this past summer. I can't believe I didn't do it. There might be two. The other video. I have a video that I want to show you that was um, right around Christmas. As you will see that, you know, I had some Christmas stuff. But I think you can see the Christmas tree and all. But in that, Mr. had gone out to the car. And he was going to warm the car up because it was cold. Well, the night before, um, I woke up and I was, I mean, it was down like in the single digits and wind chill factors, like minus so-and-so. But I woke up, I was freezing. You know how when you get cold to the bone, either you got to go and, and get in a really, really hot, hot, hot shower for a little while to get your body core, you know, kind of warmed up because I was that cold. And I was trying to figure out, why am I so cold? So if you watch that clip, <clears throat> Excuse me, if you watch that clip, you'll see oh, why I was so cold. I want to show you this. Last night, I about froze my butt off. I mean, it was pretty cold outside. But I'm thinking, what is wrong? Why am I so cold? I'm going to show you one. Just hang on. Just hang on. See the bed? I didn't even made it up. That's my side. That's Mr. Side. But I just want to show you something. Now remember my side. Let's look over here. Do y'all see anything? Y'all see anything? Okay. Let's walk over here on Mr. Side. Y'all see anything? Anything different? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I'm wondering why I'm so cold. That's because he takes all the covers. I'm going to have to get something to hook it down on my side so he can't pull it over. If y'all got any ideas, let me know. I don't want to put, like, safety pins or I'm afraid it might rip things. I need something. I have to give it some thought today. I just want to share that with you before we went to the post office and go get our batteries. Now. This next video uh, was a video taken in the summer, I believe it was, and we had a friend that has an excavator. Now, the people that lived here before us planted bamboo. I think it's called, I think there's a couple of different kinds of bamboos, might be more, I don't know. I know there's one, just bamboo, something bamboo, but then there's a river bamboo. 
I know for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why in the world would they plant bamboo where they did. Now, bamboo is very, 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 if you have bamboo, aggressive. And you got to dig down at least two feet to try to get to the roots because those roots don't so much as they go down is that they spread horizontally. I mean, and they can take over your yard in a heartbeat. So I had a friend come with his excavator and to start uh, trying to dig up the bamboo. So I want to share that with you that I didn't uh, I haven't put up yet. But these are the missing clips uh, that I wanted to share with you. Hey guys, I'm outside near the end of the yard and I want to show you what we're having done. I don't know if you guys are, have dealt with this, but you know, we own this property and then there's a fence and we own the property that's next door. And we are having bamboo, I think it's called river bamboo. But anyway, it's spreading out into, whew, bugs are spreading out to the field. So let me show you what we're having done. See that? Now he's taking down the, the big stalks right now. Then hopefully we can dig up the roots. I don't know, it's really tough in there. And then you see on the other side of the fence where it's spreading. We have to get a hold of that. Because if we don't, it's gonna take over that field. A lot of people use it as barriers, but we don't need it here. And, um, and then we do hay over there. And you can see with, um, I mean, it's just spread like quick. So hopefully he can dig up that side easier than he can this side. This side is like major. He's trying to get as close as he can to the fence, but we don't know. That's kind of sticky right there. Bless his heart. You know, and those roots have grown up under the fence, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. I mean, all this really has to be, it has to be removed, or once again, it's going to take over. Next video is a video of uh, how they, for the winter, you know, when the cold weather comes and limbs freeze, you know, if it's freezing ice or snow and they get heavy and, you know, trees can topple over. Well, here in the hills of Virginia, and I'm sure in most mountain areas, what they do to cut the limbs away from the electrical lines is that they have a helicopter. I didn't know that. So this this past, um, the time when it was really cold, probably the, the time that I put up that other video about why am I so cold, is there, I was going out on the deck, I think I was going out on the deck, but I'm gonna share it with you, and you can see where um, they had a helicopter. I thought they were gonna go ahead and come on uh, here uh, on our property and cut. But what they have is the helicopter and they have this long cord that comes down. And then at the end of it, they have a blade. How they do that, I don't know. I mean, they have to be very skilled to be able to cut the limbs that they cut. So I wanna share that with you. And if I come up with any more that I haven't already put up, I'll try to add it to this video. Now this video is called The Missing Clips. I'm gonna try to get my camera and run out here real quick. I ain't got no shoes on. You probably can't hear me, but around here, look at this. See if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? This is what they do up here in the mountains <clears throat> because, you know, they're expecting the uh, snows and stuff coming in. <clears throat> my throat's... Anyway, they're up there, they're looking because, and they've already notified us, we have a couple of trees, <clears throat> gosh, that they're needing to cut. And so what they do, see he's up there looking now, but he's gonna come on down, you see where the power lines are here. We have down here, the lines going through a tree. So they're gonna be taking care of that. In fact, they're gonna be looking around and taking care, I just waved, I've worked waving back. I'm cold. But 
as soon as I heard it, see him backing up, he's looking. Woo, if he gets close, woo! It says it's supposed to be one of the safer ways of cutting around here. I don't know where he's going right now. Okay, guys, hold up. I'm afraid the sun's gonna be shining in your eyes. I don't know what they're cutting right now. Okay, I gotta get a coat on. Hope you don't have any. Oh, he's, they're coming down. So evidently, they're gonna be cutting some trees over there. I guess they're coming down. I'm trying to keep you off so you can see. Can you see that, guys? All right. I gotta go, they're way over there. I thought they were gonna be over here cut. All right, let me cut this off. I gotta go get my coat on. Hope it ain't no sneak bugs in it. We just had a visit from the tree people from the power company and they're cutting down a tree because we have a, one of our power lines that's going through it and of course they're trying to protect us and and make their job easier later on if we should have an ice storm and the limbs fall on it and knock the power out so this is what's going on right now Now they put that sign up. See it right there? It says work area ahead. Well, <coughs> all right. I mean, like, who's going to drive through, be th driving through our yard? You know what I mean? I guess they're just letting us know that there's a work area ahead. I don't sure know. Ain't how... no work going on up here. Mm mm. So we, we have a lazy day. Yeah, we're having a lazy day. <coughs> kind of, sort of. But anyway, that's. That's what's going on here. He said that he thought that was cherry tree. Then he said, well, it could be an oak. I know that when we bought the place, they said it was a cherry, cherry tree around here. And uh, I didn't see not one daggum cherry nowhere. That's not oak. So, Mr. says it's not oak. So, maybe this will help it and maybe help it to <coughs> bear some fruit. I don't know. But anyway, I just want to share with you guys what's going on. Yep. All right. I'm going to get off here. Remember, remember that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the fields. You're blessed when you come, and you're blessed when you go in Jesus' name. I love y'all, and I appreciate all the comments. I'm trying to get to them as quick as I can. So don't stop sending me comments and go, well, she hadn't responded at all. I'm, I will get to it. I will. It's just taking me a little bit of time. And they got this new thing on YouTube. Also, I don't know if y'all YouTube uh, subscribe, not subscriber, but uh, it has a YouTube channel. If y'all running into complications with that creative, no. Uh, CC. I don't know when I put music if it's charging me a, 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 a bankroll or I don't know. I'm just confused about it. And I'm scared to put any music behind. But if y'all know, can y'all um, comment me and let me know? I want to put music to it because, you know, sometimes it just makes it a little bit more pleasant when you just kind of hum along and, and, you know, with the music and stuff. But I don't know what to do now. So if you can send me a comment on that, I would appreciate it. I appreciate all of you new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to What's Up, y'all. And the rest of y'all, part of the family, you know I love you. Anyway, till the next videos, guys. See you later. Bye.